Hey guys, what's going on? It's Grim, and here's another server tutorial for a different game. This is uh, the Black Wake game. Uh, it's a pirate multiplayer game. Um, it's still in alpha, beta, you know, very early release. Um, it's very fun. Uh, you know, the graphics aren't the best, but they're still quite nice um, at times. Uh, but the whole premise of the game is just, you know, ships against ships, and you have stations to man, and so if you have a lot more, if you have a lot of crew, then you can man each station, but if you don't have a lot of crew, then you kind of got to run around, and it kind of creates a lot of really fun times, and it's just good old, you know, ship versus ship, and you can board each other and get into sword fights and shoot each other with muskets, and it's just a, a pretty fun game. It's only $20. Um, so if you got 20 bucks to spare and you want to have fun for a couple hours, there's a bunch of servers, but they all tend to be full. Um, and so to learn how to play the game, I was like, you know, I don't want to just want to jump into a full server because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, so I was talking to a couple buddies of mine, and I, you know, I figured, hey, you know, there's a bunch of, you know, public, you know, homemade servers, so I can probably make one. So. That's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. It's super easy. Uh, if you watched any of my previous server tutorials, it's not far off. Um, so with this server, I'm gonna give you the ability to um, download the game, download the server files, and update the server files, and also verify them. Um, start the server, and then monitor the server. And then if the server goes down for any reason, crashes or whatever, um, it'll restart the server for you. And since when you're running the server, you don't exactly have a command log window, I'm also going to include a stop server file. Um, that so if you need to stop it to take it down for maintenance or an update or you know whatever reason, you can just double click that and it, it you should kill the server. So we're going to go ahead and just get started. So basically, find the directory that you're going to install the game on, um, and then just create a new folder. Now I don't like capitals, but we'll go Black Week. And then we're going to go inside here. We're going to make two more folders. One's going to be Steam Command, because that's where we're going to drop the Steam Command file. And then the other one is going to be Game, because that's where we're going to have the game files. So let's go back to here, grab this command prompt. Um, yes, I didn't even didn't even think about that. We're going to need the uh, Steam Command link. So just Google Steam Command, go to Steam Command, and then downloading Windows, uh, Steam Command. So go to Windows, and then here you go. Link's going to be right here. Just download that, unzip it, and uh, drop it into uh, right here into the Steam folder. And then double-click and run it. It's just going to run really quick, extract a package. And this is just for connecting to Steam and downloading the software. You're going to get this, so go ahead and allow that access. It's going to allow it from its location. And then you can either close the window or just type exit, and then that'll close. So then go back to Blackwake, and here we are going to create some files. Um, so the first one we're going to create is going to be a batch file, which is going to be called Blackwake Updater. .bat. Yes, I want to change the extension. So go ahead and edit with Notepad, and then. All right. So basically, I had a problem when I tried to run the updater. Um, it wouldn't download it. Um, so I'm not sure if there was like a limit on how many servers you could put on one uh, one machine at a time. Uh, so I wasn't going to really delve into that and go through, try to find a registry, key, registry keys and all that. Um, so instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you kind of each file and I'm going to walk you through the process of doing it, which is it's basically just the same thing. Um, so you've already created the game folder, you've already created the Steam command, um, you just created the Blackwake uh, updater file. So this is what's going to be in the file. So I'm going to show you what's in the file. And then you can either screenshot this and type it all yourself, or in the description I'll include links to downloads where you can just download a text file and copy paste it, and then just update the um, drives, like the C drive or D drive, whatever drive you're using. Okay, so here's the the branch, uh, which is the app ID. So this is the app ID of the server, not the game. So the game probably has a different app ID. So make sure you use this one, four two three four one zero, and then set your BW path and your Steam path. And then it's going to log in anonymously, and then it'll update, it'll basically go through and start downloading the game. And then, so save that file, and then come back to here, and then run it. Okay, so when you run it, it's going to come up like this. 
Just hit OK. Now, because I've already got the game installed, it's going to verify my files. So that's how you verify server files. Okay, so now with this game, they actually specifically say when you run the initial download, and it downloads all the files. It's not much. It'll maybe take 10 minutes depending on your connection. Um, once you download it, go ahead and rerun this, the updater again and do what I just did here, and you'll see it validate the files, okay? Um, they, they actually specifically say to do that. Now, I'm not sure if there's a reason for it, but hey, why not just do it? Okay, so now that once we've run that, we're going to create... Uh, now, if you might have noticed, uh, in a, you might have an extra file, actually. Uh, be, I, the coding in here is it makes it run as a command. Um, so it changes the file extension to command. So And that, that's okay. That's not a big deal. Um, so just leave that alone. Now you're going to create three more files. Uh, BW server start, BW server monitor, and then a BW stop server. So BW server start is going to look like this. Uh, basically we're going to title it so we know what the name of it is. So we can find it in task manager and all that. Uh, we're going to check to make sure the server is not already running. And if it is already running or if it's just like hung up and it's crashed, it'll shut it down. Um, it's also going to shut down the server monitor that's with this. And that's going to want that's what's going to run while your server is running. And that'll do a check every so many seconds. And then if the server's not running, it'll start it. So now it's just going to let you know starting this game. You're setting this. Um, this is the developers, what they say to run it, this is a Unity call, batch mode, no graphics. Um, basically, this runs it without having to have user interference. Um, so that's why I'm including the stop server file, because you don't actually have like a window that you could just close. You would have to go through the task manager and hard close it, or run the stop server, which is basically the same thing. Um, so once the server started, we give it a few seconds, and then we're going to start the server monitor, and then that's what's going to run and watch the server. And then this window will close out. And then the BW server monitor is what will open. And basically give it a title so we know what the name of it is. And it's going to check for the Blackwake server. Now, if it doesn't see an error, it's going to go to loop. And so loop is down here. Now, if we find an error, we're going to go to loop, um, and that's going to, uh, we're going to, sorry, if we don't find an error, we're going to go to loop, and it's going to just close the, the check, um, and the server's already running, return running monitoring loop, and it's going to run it again, it's going to go for 80 seconds. So you can change this to 30 seconds if you want to check it, um, you can change it to, you know, f five minutes if you wanted to, whatever you want to change it to, it's, then it'll, it'll um, check again for the server. And then you'll see here, like, so this is the initial run of this, and then it'll go to loop if there's no error, and then it runs this little loop here, loop here. And then, so if there is an error of one, it's going to go to start, which is up here, and then echo server is not running, start, and it's going to restart the server, it's going to run the server start batch file that we made. And then it's going to time out for 30 seconds, give everything enough time to start, and then it'll close itself. Um, it'll be closed by the server start because up here see we're going to close it there that way we don't end up with duplicate windows so not to ramble on there for too long and then go ahead and create your server stop um, this is how you're going to stop the server so basically it's just a couple of task skills it's going to check uh, for the server if it's not responding like it's got a crash window um, it'll check for that and then close it it'll check for the actual game running and close it and then it'll also check for the server monitor and close it because if you're stopping the server, then you're probably stopping it for a reason. So you don't want it to be like in the middle of trying to change something and then poof, the server starts back up. So then you have a bunch of people trying to join in and then you got to kick them off again. So those are the those are the four files that we need to create. So now the next step is when you're in here, go ahead and double click on Blackwake server and run it. Okay, you're going to run it and it's going to pop up with a window. And then you're going to get a, probably like a Windows firewall message. Go ahead and allow that. And then once that's up, I just, I just hit X on the window. It's going to close, and then it'll do this, and then it'll close. Close program. Cancel. Okay. So once it does that, it's going to populate this with a lot more, like, smaller files. Um, because when you initially download it and get it going, like, admin.txt is in here. Um, server.config is in here, you know, mods.txt is in here. 
So these are this is where you're going to want to run that first so you can get to these files. So admins is that's basically it. They're admins. So you, this is your Steam ID. And the way that you can get the Steam ID is you can just grab your player's name or get their Steam profile um, URL link off the like the Steam website, and then just go to this website website called SteamID.io and just go ahead and paste the information, hit look up, and then it'll come up with the information. And the number you're going to want to copy is their Steam ID 64. And then you're going to take that and go ahead and paste that behind this. And then you're going to use that same principle and now here's the one thing the name doesn't matter i mean i could call this dum dum and it wouldn't matter it goes based off of the id um the name is more so so you know who it is so i mean typically you'll probably use their gamer names or whatever um so if you know who they are you might put like john or whatever so it depends on whoever you're naming it but you're going to do the same thing for you want to add a band you do the same thing add their name into there um, if you want to do uh, add a mod a moderator to your server, you do the same thing. Uh, put you know John, and then equals their ID. Save the file, start the server, and they're in. Um, so the next big thing is as well as two more things. The server announcements. Um, this is where you can put in messages that'll show up as the server starts. Like, and they they run like it looks like typically like five to ten minutes after the server's already started and people are playing. Um, it's a little green text, you know, at the bottom of the screen. So you can change it to, you know, welcome to your server. Where's the server located? You know, email here. If you put your Discord information or TeamSpeak information or you know, whatever, put your rules, you know, things, you know, if you're, whatever the reason may be. Um, you can put whatever in there and just put basically a new um, bit of text on each line and it'll run that text through and it'll run, it runs on a loop. So this text will be running throughout the entire game. So you'll get like one message. Comments later, you get another message. Comments later, you get another message. And it just goes right down the line. One, two, three, four, five, six, you know, as many lines as you have. So then the, then the final step is really the server um, server config. So server name, you can name it whatever you want to name it. Um, you know, try to put in where you're located or, you know, what region or if you're, you have a clan ID, like clan name or whatever. You just use your name. Um, now, if you want to set a static IP to a box or something that maybe you don't have or, you know, whatever, you can do that. Um, my IP is not going to be static, so I'm going to leave it as blank so it always goes to default. Port is whatever you want it to be. Now, obviously, if you, when you set the port, you're going to have to port forward it. Um, so if you're not familiar with that, again, it's something you Google, um, but you just log into your router. Usually it's like 192.168.1.1 or uh, 127.0.0.1 or 10.0.0.10 or whatever, um, depending on what you know ISP or what router, what network you're running with. Um, so you want to port forward. You always want to make sure your Steam query port. Um, I, I just port forward it on both. Um, seems to work best that way. I don't know. Uh, but that's 27015, uh, um, and you can also do 27016, and, you know, you could change that and put it in here, uh, but 27015 is the Steam default, so I, I, I try to leave it like that, um, but basically, like, if you're running more than one server or running other servers that do connect to Steam, then you'll want to change that because then you won't have, you don't want to have a conflict. <clears throat> So and then the port again, set your port to whatever you want it to be, whether it's you know two three two two or two three five one or you know in my case I'm using seventeen fifteen, great pirate year, um, you know golden age of piracy, right? So now the restart hour. What I'm guessing from this is when the server is running, uh, it'll auto restart on the Windows server time, which is hours zero to twenty three. So I'm guessing if the box is set to Eastern Standard Time, that's going to restart at four a.m. Eastern. So that, I think that's fine, being an Eastern located server. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll see if that's the case, you know, coming up. Um, game mode is your common game mode is seven. That's your fleet uh, fleet TDM TDM fleet. Um, but these are the other game modes, and three and four, I'm guessing, are just game modes that are upcoming. They haven't released yet. And then here, friendly player collision, you can one or zero. One is on, zero is off. You can uh, turn them off, turn them on, whatever you, however you want to play. Um, ship speed factor is pretty standard. Is 200%. Put it at two, then you're gonna go 200% faster. So you can speed. Gameplay could be a little bit faster, quicker. Um, if you know if you ram ships, it'll probably do even more damage. 
Um, now, player update rate is what I'm guessing is basically like your tick rate. Um, it's going to update. So, you know, instead of seeing people f when they're running their sh sh rubber band and all around, you increase the number. But now the higher you go, the probably more lag you create, create depending on how many people are on there. So right now I just have it at 30, um, you know, minimum of 10. The default when you get it is 15. Now, that may be fine. I don't know. I haven't really tested it, so I just put it on 30, and I'll kind of, if, if the server gets a lot of people, then I can report back more. I, I don't expect a lot of people to play on it, um, but the server will be up, so if you're watching and you want to come play, by all means, come and play. Um, I, I hope to get some of my friends on it as well. So um, Then again, allow global voice. I turn that shit off, man. Nobody wants to be screamed at from across the lines. Um, there's global chat for that shit if you want to type. So that's kind of how I run with that. And then hide from list if you want to, you know, be private but not have a password, um, you can set that to one, um, and then you, your server won't even show up on the list. Um, or you could actually set a password and it would show up. So if you want to have like, you know, like a white, kind of like a whitelist only uh, server, like an RP server or something like that, you could set a password, and then that way people who have the password can get into it. Now of course, eventually there will be somebody who gets the password by accident, and you'll have to let them in, so or you know, ban them, whatever. So that's basically uh, these files in a nutshell. Now, the Blackway config, I haven't changed anything here. I don't really think that you need to. Um, Captain's note, I don't know. I mean, I tried changing that, and it just always changes back. So I just left that alone. And then that was really all I did. So then what you do is basically you just go to – let me make sure the server's not running. So, oh yeah, I'm going to go here. I'll run the stop server just to make sure the server's not running. Wasn't even found, so that's perfect. So I'm going to go hit um, BW server start. And then, so you see here, it's starting the black wake server. The server's up. Now, the only way that I know it's running is by going to cat task manager. You can see it here, black wake server. So now the uh, server start's going to close. And then now i got my monitor. And then, so basically... When the monitor is running, it's going to check for Black Wake server. And, like, if you see it's at 62 seconds and I'm going to hit a key, it did a check, and it checked again. So, like, if the server goes down and you know it did, you can just click on this window and hit a key, and it'll rerun its loop. So, and I'm going to show you that right now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here, and I'm going to close Black Wake. I'm going to end the task. And then the server monitor is just ticking away. So, I'm going to hit a key to make it run its loop again and do another check. Server's not running. Going to do it. Going to start the server. It was really fast. So there's the server start back. Came back up. Server monitor closed. This is a new one that just came up. This will close. And there's Blackwing server. So and that's how you can have your own uh, monitoring kind of server. So if it crashes when you're not around, it'll stop it and then restart it. So I hope that helps, and, you know, sorry I couldn't give you a complete one, you know, run through step by step, but I will include steps and detailed files in the description, so be sure to download those. Um, and uh, so thanks for watching. I hope this helps. If, if you found it that it was helpful, give a thumbs up. If you got any questions, uh, leave a comment, and I'll try to get to you. I try to answer most of my uh, comments unless... And, you know, search if you have any problems, search the other comments as well because people will put the answer in there. And I'll try to highlight it as best I can, but sometimes it just, you know, I, I don't have the ability to. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Message me if you got any issues, if you got any questions. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.